Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. According to the Nikkei on February 25th, there are signs of recovery in Japan's semiconductor industry, which has been struggling for a long time. On the 24th, the global chip manufacturing giant TSMC held an opening ceremony for its Kumamoto factory and decided to build a second factory in the same region. Samsung Electronics of South Korea will also establish a research and development base in Yokohama. Among Japanese companies, Renaissance Electronics has actively acquired external technology and talent, continuously expanding its global influence. The establishment of Rapidus, a company jointly established by the government and the private sector to achieve the localization of the most advanced semiconductors, is accelerating equipment investment in its Hokkaido factory. Dear viewers, what do you think? What does TSMC's establishment of factories in Japan mean for the revival of Japan's semiconductor industry? How will this move affect the development of the Japanese economy and the global semiconductor market? With the revival of Japan's semiconductor industry, do you think Japan can return to the peak of the semiconductor industry? How will it deal with competition from countries such as Taiwan, South Korea, and the United States? With the dual drive of technological trends and geopolitical factors, what do you think the future of Japan's semiconductor industry will be? How will it affect the development trends of the global technology industry? This series of phenomena is not accidental. Japan's semiconductor industry has long been in adversity, but now it has ushered in two favorable winds. First, the change in technological trends. Although the performance of semiconductors continues to improve and has approached physical limits, the back-end process has attracted much attention. Japanese companies are leading in the fields of semiconductor materials and production equipment, attracting foreign companies such as Samsung to enter. In addition, TSMC has established a back-end process research base in Tsukuba City, Ibaraki Prefecture. These signs indicate that Japan's semiconductor industry is expected to recover. At this turning point, the future of Japan's semiconductor industry is full of hope and challenges. With the continuous evolution of technology and the strengthening of international cooperation, we look forward to seeing Japan emerge again in the global semiconductor market and make greater contributions to the industry's development. The other favorable wind is the change in geopolitics. For a long time, the United States has been wary of Japan, but in recent years, it has begun to reassess Japan's importance in terms of economic security and has begun to share key technologies with Japan. According to reports, TSMC, the world's largest chip foundry, officially opened its first production base in Japan, the Kumamoto factory, on the 24th. The Japanese government has formulated a strategy to strengthen the domestic semiconductor production base, attracting TSMC settlement as a highlight. TSMC settlement has become a catalyst, and Japan plans to build and expand multiple chip factories in the coming years, with huge investments expected. The revival of Japan's semiconductor industry will start with Kumamoto. TSMC's first factory in Kumamoto Prefecture will focus on producing logic chips, which play a key role in processing large amounts of information at high speed in automobiles and digital devices, equivalent to the brain. TSMC plans to build a second factory in Kumamoto and strive to start supplying products by the end of 2027. These developments indicate that Japan's semiconductor industry is facing significant opportunities. With the investment and expansion of large companies such as TSMC in Japan, we can expect Japan to play a more important role in the global semiconductor market and make greater contributions to technological innovation and industrial development. The finer the chip line width, the higher the performance. TSMC leads the global competition in miniaturization. The first factory will produce chips matured in 12 to 16 nanometers and 22 to 28 nanometers while the second factory will produce cutting-edge 6 nanometer chips. In Japan, chip companies cannot produce logic chips smaller than 40 nanometers and have been eliminated. TSMC's technological advantages and production capacity occupy a pivotal position in today's chip industry. Its continuous advancement in miniaturization technology keeps it at the forefront, 
not only meeting the demands of existing markets but also establishing an unbeatable position in future technological competitions. Its contribution to the chip industry is self-evident, not only promoting the performance improvement of electronic products, but also providing a solid technical foundation for innovation in various industries. In 1988, Japan was once the world's leader in chip production, with a market share of 50%. However, its share has now fallen to 10%, lagging behind Taiwan, South Korea, and the United States. The decline of Japan's chip industry is mainly due to logic chips. The establishment of TSMC's Kumamoto factory marks a new starting point for Japan's chip and digital industry strategy. First, attracting TSMC settlement will lay the foundation for chip manufacturing, then, strengthening the use of digital equipment and services will promote industrial digital transformation. TSMC's expansion in Japan has reignited Japan's enthusiasm for the domestic chip industry. The establishment of Rapidus aims to achieve the localization of the most advanced chips, and will begin mass production of two nanometer chips in Chaito City, Hokkaido, starting from the end of 2027. The establishment of TSMC's Kumamoto factory is an important step in the revival of Japan's chip industry. With the intensification of global competition, Japan's former leading position has gradually been replaced by other countries. However, TSMC settlement has injected new vitality into Japan and reignited hopes for the domestic chip industry. Through the introduction of advanced technology and the strengthening of digital transformation, Japan is expected to return to the peak of the chip industry and regain a place in the global market. In 2023, Japan's preliminary GDP statistics showed 591.482 trillion yen, equivalent to 4.2106 trillion US dollars, slightly lower than Germany's 4.4561 trillion US dollars. This led to Japan's nominal GDP dropping from third place in the world to fourth, overtaken by Germany, sparking a feeling of ridicule. Despite Germany's GDP declining by 0.3% year-on-year, Japan's grew by 1.9%. The reason Germany was able to surpass Japan is that its GDP was boosted by high inflation, and the significant depreciation of the yen against the dollar. The exchange rate factor caused Japan's GDP to shrink, but in terms of economic activity, Japan's economic quality still leads Germany. Economic data reflects the multiple factors of economic development in different countries. Although Japan has been surpassed by Germany in nominal GDP ranking, it still demonstrates strong vitality in terms of growth rate and economic quality. With the global economic recovery and intensifying market competition, the rankings of countries in economic indicators often change, and Japan's sustained growth trend may become its key advantage on the international stage. Since last year, Japan's overall economic development has been good. In the early 1990s, following the collapse of the bubble economy, Japan experienced a 30-year period of economic stagnation, but the situation has begun to improve recently. Warren Buffett once again expressed optimism about Japanese stocks after an 11-year hiatus, and housing prices have risen across the board, especially in high-rise apartment buildings in Downtown Tokyo, where prices have risen by more than 40%. Real GDP grew moderately by 1%, and the consumer price index rose by 2.9%, marking Japan's emergence from deflation. In contrast, Germany's GDP has declined for three consecutive quarters, while Japan continues to expand. With the weakening of inflationary factors and changes in exchange rates, Japan is expected to surpass Germany again and return to third place in the world economy. The recovery of the Japanese economy is encouraging, and various economic indicators are gradually improving. Especially, the recovery of the semiconductor industry has provided strong support for economic growth, showing tremendous potential. The Japanese government's active policies and investments have injected strong momentum into the industry's recovery and the semiconductor industry is expected to become a new engine for Japan's economic development. With the continuous progress of technology and policy support, Japan's economy will experience more stable growth, injecting new vitality into the country's prosperity and development. Finally, let me summarize for you, 
hoping you have gained some insights and thoughts. As an expert in the semiconductor industry, I believe the revival of Japan's semiconductor industry is an important signal. With the intensification of global technological competition and changes in geopolitics, Japan is increasing its investment and support for the semiconductor industry to revitalize this key sector. This will not only enhance Japan's economic competitiveness, but also promote innovation and development in the global semiconductor industry. Therefore, I believe we should closely monitor the development of Japan's semiconductor industry, provide support and attention to its revival. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye.